first of all, when you're taking advice on nutrition and hormones, you want to look at where it's coming from. You want to make sure that it's coming from a reputable, licensed, credentialed practitioner. I see a lot of quote unquote hormone coaches out there and it's so dangerous. You know, when I'm Working with a client, we've talked about how I do the intake and I'm looking at their other medical conditions. I'm looking at the medications they're on. And so I'm making sure that the recommendations that I make for them are safe for them. And that's not something you're going to get from a hormone influencer who's telling everyone to take the same supplement. And the other thing I want to say is a few things. I want to say a few things. I want to say, keep pushing. If you're not getting the answers you need from your doctor, keep pushing. Find another doctor if that's a possibility for you. Um, Explore maybe outside of conventional medicine, working with functional practitioners who are going to be more willing to do the deeper digging, if that's a possibility for you. And then the last thing I want to say is really, it doesn't have to be so hard. We feel like we're accomplishing something when we're following a very strict diet or we're implementing this exercise regimen that's really difficult and extreme, but it doesn't have to be that hard. It's really just regular balanced meals, making sure we're getting enough sleep on a regular schedule, moving our bodies enough, but not too much. And then really managing stress. That's the hard part. I think it's the the hardest part to do, but it is possible. And there are changes you can make and boundaries you can implement to make sure that your stress is being managed. 